Okay, so what, one of the challenges in our industry has grown over the last decade, a decade as, as the applications we work in become more and more complex. The design of the equipment needs to be more complex to operate them and the manufacturers have worked really hard over the last few years to make sure the safety systems on the machine are completely able to support the applications the machines work on and also give the operators the ultimate amount of safety. One of the key motivations for me around this BE Safe campaign is that one of my engineers got seriously injured earlier in the year and I had to stop and think myself at that point and ask myself that I spent a lot of time and a lot of effort creating a health and safety culture in my business which generated risk assessment, method statement, safe systems of work, a very robust process. Yet one of my engineers had been badly hurt in an accident which, which affected me emotionally. And I had to stop and think and say, what else can I do? How could I stop that engineer being hurt? What, what actions could I take to make that engineer stop and think before he started to perform that repair? before we became injured. And, and I want them to know that I'm prepared to take any actions I possibly can to, to restrict that, that, that risk opportunity and stop them getting hurt in the future. What, one, one of our focuses through the, the creation of BE Safe was to really reach into the hearts and minds of our employees to try and motivate them to think a lot more around their personal safety and the risks they're working around and, 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 and generate a much more of a stop and think culture to always have our employees question their, their ability to, to, to carry out repairs. And also, I want them to ask wider questions about whether the equipment is working in the right environment, whether the operators are operating the equipment properly, whether the actual application the equipment is working is correct for the machines they're working in, and, and always feel completely empowered to reach out to their manager or the customer and say, I think this is wrong, I think there's a risk here, I think we should do something different or actually to, to take it to the point where we're going, I'm not prepared to work in this environment, facilitate this repair, carry on in this situation. So there's always a real strong belief within the person that the risk is there and they are allowed to act appropriately according to that. What, one of my passions is to create a complete conduit from engineer to board so we can communicate risks and risk awareness and actions and activities around safety from our workforce. So we've created a, um, a set of health and safety champions in the field who are empowered to collect information from the engineers and attend senior managers meetings and those senior managers will then take the information through to the board. So I'm very passionate about making sure we've got constant visibility of risks and threats to our workforce in the field and at a senior management level we're constantly acting on those. We created the BE Safe Conference to talk to our senior managers and our, and our health and safety team about a, a different approach of communicating the need to stop and think, communicating the need to take line ownership of health and safety. We took them through some role plays around how to act on accident investigation, how to understand how we can take action to prevent accidents happening again. And, uh, and around risk recognition and the recording and actions around that. So Briggs Equipment, in the way it always behaves, is always trying to find solutions for our customers and for the industry to behave different and bring a whole fresh new approach to the way that we behave and hopefully influence the way the industry behaves. So what happens after BE Safe? Well, Briggs Equipment and see BE Safe Conference is the start of a long journey here. Now we've started the ball rolling, we've got a real desire to build on what we've created. We now plan to do a second seminar in October to, to reach a wider audience, to talk about the way we can influence our health and safety champions in the field. We're now launching a, an internal BE Safe campaign to influence our admin team, not only for recognition around the workplace, to understand exactly how we can improve our, our locations for health and safety, but how our internal staff can influence our engineers about the way they look for health and safety risks, making sure we, we do everything we possibly can to stop putting them into a, a position of risk. So following on from that, we've decided we're going to sponsor the FLTA Safety Conference in September this year to raise Briggs Equipment's presence in the industry around health and safety and making sure that people recognise that Briggs Equipment are completely passionate about changing the industry and having a higher level of health and safety. Following on from that, our branding is now going to be repairing our engineer workwear and vans 
and paperwork where we've got 101 different ways that we can start demonstrating risks around the engineer workplace around air defence and eye defence and all sorts of things. We're going to be putting stickers in vans and 101 different ways that we can constantly communicate with our engineers in a broken record way about the risks they may face and the way we expect them to behave to prevent themselves getting hurt at work.